Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. We're about to start. Fine, see you. Fine too, thank you for asking. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the class? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's just fixing my my chair here. Just give me a second. Okay. Here we are. Hi. So we're going to uh, start with today's class, right? Do you have time to watch uh, the videos on the platform? Yes? No? Maybe? No. No, really. Okay. So don't worry. We'll go, we're going to go okay. over that one more time. And then we're going to keep working with the topic that we worked yesterday. Do you remember the topic that we worked with? Mm, w question. W H questions. Okay, very good. W H questions. Very good. So, do you remember what W H questions are for? Se recuerdan para qué son las W H questions? Yes. Who? Uh, okay. It's a person. Okay. Who is to ask for people? Okay. Very good. So I'm gonna show you the, the picture again. Where is um? It's a place. It's a place. Where is to ask for place? Yes, is to ask for place. Okay. What about why? Is the reason. A reason. Is to ask for reasons. Okay. Uh -huh. Good. Is to ask for reasons. What about uh, when? What when? do you want to ask when? It's I a time. It's a time. Is to ask for time, okay, perfect. And let's say a difficult one. And what about how? Uh, it's a person. Oh, it's a person. It's a it's a person. Uh -huh. How? For persons? How? No, it's a number. Who is who is for, for person? But how is not for person? It's for sometimes it's for numbers. That's correct. But which one would that be? Another one? What else can I ask with how? What else besides numbers? What? <laughs> what? Okay. What is for things, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. What for is for things? An action. For an action. Thank you, Gladys. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So we have this, and we also have right which and whose right what is the use of which what are we asking when we ask for which good evening good evening again is more is more specific ah okay very good yeah which is more specific very good right so look at the example there which cell phone brand do you like samsung or iphone what would be another example there? What could be another example? Miguel? What would be another example using which? I don't know. Oh. Okay, no worries. Don't worry. We're here for you know to learn. Right? We're here to learn. So who can help Miguel? What would be another example of which? Tell me. Uh, which pupusa, Miguel, do you, do you like it? Which, okay. Which pupusas do you like to eat? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Revueltas. <laughs> which pupusas do you like to eat? Revueltas. Okay. Or frijol con queso, right? Uh, en bien. español, para yes. meterme en el contexto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Which es como algo que me guste. No. 
No, which is for something that you ask in uh, cuál. Estamos dando opciones, como decía Gaby, estamos dando opciones para ser más específicos. Entonces, that's what we're trying to do here. To give more options. Oh, wow. okay, okay. Okay. So we're trying to give more options. So we're giving more options like this. So we give pupusas and then we we have two options, right? Revueltas and frijol con queso, for example, right? So we have those options, right? Because it's more specific. If we ask, for example, what pupusas do you like? What kind of pupusas do you like? So it's bigger. The options are more, right? But with this one, we only ask for two options. Right? That's one. Okay. Right? Okay. Solo tenemos dos opciones. Es un poquito me, más uh, específico. específico. Exacto, es más específico, correcto. Okay, very good. And what do we use who's for, Ángel? Sí, 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 teacher. Who's. Who's, yeah. What? Uh, new question. Or, or repeat the question. What do we use who's for? ¿Cuál es el uso de who's? What do we use it for? To ask for? Eh, eh, en español, loco. <laughs> le, no. le, le explico. Try in English. Un ejemplo. Try in English, yes. Ah, ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Ejemplo, por ejemplo, puede ser, who's is your favorite color? Pero más específico. Mm -hmm. With who's. Look at this. Who's. Look at the example. No. If I have, who's more mm -hmm. is this? Is most possessive teacher. Exactly, Gabby. Very good. Whose angel is for possession? Right? When we're possessing things, cuando algo es de nuestra posesión, eso es lo que queremos decir. Whose? Right? That's what we want to say. Yeah, ya entendí. Gracias. Okay. Try to speak in, in, in English, okay? Vamos a tratar de trabajar en inglés, aunque sea unas una cuatro palabras, para que todos practiquemos, okay? okay. No, no se nos olvidemos de poner en mute cuando no estamos participando para evitar el sonido al, al fondo y que se escuche. Right? Very good. Okay, now, yes, now we're going to move to the next topic, right? Yesterday we were working with this, right? We were working with the structure, right, of uh, WH questions, right? With WH questions, we're going to watch the video, right? Ahora que ya sabemos un poquito más del WH, Vamos a trabajar con las preguntas, right? So for this, give me a second here. Vamos a ver el video. Vamos a tratar de entender el video y vamos a ver la estructura que les envié ayer. Y lo vamos a ver aquí en contexto. Vamos a tratar de crear nuestros propios ejemplos. We are going to create our own examples, right? What we have now. ¿Estamos listos? Yes. 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 Ok, very good. Vamos a ver acá. En lo que carga las otras dos actividades que quedan, queda una actividad que es un reading. Y hay una actividad, actividad evaluada de ese reading, de esa lectura. Entonces, tienen que trabajar ese, ese, ese reading en casa. Van a trabajar y van a, van a ir subrayando las palabras. Okay, pero vamos a hablar de eso otro ratito. Can you see the, the screen? Okay. No. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? No, todavía no. No. Okay. So, let's, let's watch the video. Let me know if you can listen. Right. And if you cannot listen, let me know as well. In this class, you'll learn how to... Can you listen to that? Yes. 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 It's yes. fine. Yes. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and watch. Thank you. You're welcome. 
con atención y tenemos que ponernos listos para tomar notas. ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using Be Going To. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer. Really? Okay. So now, do we understand the video more, like the information that is given in the video about WH questions? Entendemos un poco más que la información que se nos da acerca de es WH. ¿Cómo la ven? ¿Cómo ven la información? ¿La entendimos un poquito más? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, miss. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. ¿Cómo ven la información? Cuéntenme. Yes? Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Okay, very good. And Miguel? Hard. Difficult. Hard. Yeah. Yeah, For it me. is difficult. Uh huh. Good. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo ven la información? Jesse? Jesse? Susana? Sí. Um, complicated. Complicated. Okay, yeah, it's complicated. Pero don't teacher. Hi, Jesse. 
¿Cómo vio el video? Interesante. Interesting. Interesting. So the video is interesting, right? It's interesting. It's difficult, right? It's also complicated, right? Very good. Oh, interesting. Así está bien. Interesting. Esa es la correcta. Okay, very good. So that's what we have. So yesterday we were practicing a structure, right? That you can see on the computer right now. Right? You will see it in a second. Okay, and I need you to help me here, right? You're going to help me with the structure of this sentence. We have the structure here is uh, WH plus B plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. But we're going to prepare examples using, according to the, the video, right? We need to prepare examples that give us information about holidays in the use of going to. So what could be an example? Tell me an example here. Let's follow the formula, right? WH, what is a WH question? Manuel, tell me an example of a WH question. Okay. Um, Any, we have plenty ah, of WH. Okay, okay. Vamos. Um, where? Where, okay, where? Okay, very good. Then we need to have the verb B. Tell me a verb B here, Esmeralda. Hello, me. Yes? Where are you going to? We are creating a question using the structure from the video. This is structure. Estamos creando preguntas ahorita todo. Ya Manuel nos ha ayudado con la, con la WH, where, where. where Ahora, ¿qué where nos hace you? falta? Where are you? you? Okay, where be and subject, very good. Where are you? What else? Going, Going to. to. Going to. And the verb? Tell me a verb. Go. go. Are you going to go? Okay. What else? Party. Ah? Party. Where, where are you going to go to party? Okay, very good. Like, hey, let's have some fun, right? Donde vamos a ir a, 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 a parrandear, a celebrar. Okay, very good. Where are you going to go to party? Okay, very good. So look at this. This is a perfect example of this, right? WH plus Burby plus you, plus going to, plus complement, right? Okay, tell me another example, one more. Another example. How oh, are you going uh -huh. to celebrate Father's Day? No, but because that's, uh, that's, just no question. We need to have a okay. WH. ¿Cuáles son okay. las WH words? Recuerden que están más en tu énfasis en esto. Where, where, when, when, why, how. Okay. So that's the one I need. Right? Siempre tiene que ir una de esas. What? Okay. Ahorita, what? ahorita estamos prestándole atención a las WH words, right? Entonces tenemos que crear, entonces tenemos que crear horas, eh, preguntas que lleven esa palabra. Ya trabajamos con just no questions. Are you, is your sister, right? Ahora vamos a trabajar con WH. ¿Quién me dice otro ejemplo? Uno más. Who are you gonna win the competition? Who? Are you gonna win? The competition. The competition. Okay. ¿Qué queremos decir aquí, Ángel, con esta, con esta pregunta? Who are you going to win the competition? 
¿Quién va a ganar la competencia? ¿O tendría que ser Will? ¿Mm? ¿Quién ganará? No, going to es su futuro. Who is Ay, going to? Who ¿Quién va is, a ganar? Is going to. Who is going to. Ah, no are. Right, no are. Acá veamos qué pasa con este tipo de oración. En este tipo de oración. Is one person. Exacto, no, no estamos metiendo Ay. sujeto, es otro tipo de oración. ¿Ok? Para esta oración que tenemos, que tenemos nosotros acá, para esa pregunta que tenemos al inicio, lo que estamos tratando de, de hacer prácticamente, ¿Qué? practicar, es dar el objeto de la oración. Porque acá decimos, where are you going to go to party? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta para eso? ¿Cuál es la respuesta para esta pregunta? Where are I am gonna go. I am going to going to um, I'm going to to go to go to go in to discotec. To I'm going to okay, I am going to go to discotec. Okay, the discotec. I have so many times without writing this word. Tengo años de no trabajar con esa palabra. Ya no la. Sí, imagínense. Let's see here. This. Oh, yeah, it's correct. Very good. Okay, discotheque. I am going to go to the discotheque. Right. So, if we're asking where, right? We're asking for a place. Right. I am going to go to the discotheque. So this the is discotheque. this this is the what, what I'm asking for. Le voy a poner el mismo color para que vean qué es lo que estoy preguntando. Entonces esto que yo estoy poniendo en celeste aquí, what I'm writing in light blue, that is the object of the sentence. Es el objeto de la oración. Eso es lo que estoy okay. queriendo uh, agarrar. Si en cambio, vean cómo esta otra pregunta está formada. En esta otra pregunta tengo WH plus verb B plus going to plus verb plus complement, right? ¿Qué es lo que me hace okay. falta? Me hace falta el subject. Aquí no tengo subject. Esta oración está bien escrita. Esta pregunta, perdón, está bien escrita. Pero no entra dentro de lo que estamos trabajando por el momento. Right? Because the question here it will be difficult. It will be different. Right? Who is going yes. to win the competition? Angel is going to win the competition. Right? So look at this. Lo que queremos que esté acá es que la respuesta esté después del verbo. Aquí, después de este verbo. Y después de este verbo tenemos otra cosa. Tenemos que competition. Y estamos armando el sujeto. Y no queremos sujetos. Queremos objetos de la oración. Okay. Por el momento se ve un poquito complicado. Pero es porque no estamos viendo ese tipo de oraciones ahorita. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. okay. Sigamos, ok. Sigamos el, eh, la fórmula que tenemos en pantalla. Right. Ok. ¿Algún otro ejemplo? ¿Any other example? Angel. Want to try again? Quiero intentarlo de nuevo. Eh, vamos a ver. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Quiero ver. Eh, eh, what is your ah, no, no, perdón. <laughs> what are you? What are you gonna visit on? What are you going to visit? Uh, going to or Ghana? <laughs> going to and Ghana is the same. Remember that Ghana ah. is for the pronunciation only. It's just for the pronunciation. Ah. ¿Se recuerdan que siempre yo lo he yo lo escrito going to, pero la pronunciación es Ghana? No sé si yes, es para yes. Esto es mi vida, de no me preocupes. <laughs> okay, so we're fine, Angel. We're fine. Where are you gonna? Is the same as going to. Okay. On on December. Okay. Okay. Very good. 
So, if we have this, Angel, what is the meaning of this word? Visit. ¿Cómo, cómo no le escuché? What is the meaning of the verb? ¿Cuál es el significado del verbo? Visit. Visitar. Ok, it's visitar. Very good. Entonces, ¿qué queremos decir aquí? Sí. Angel? The W no word, not what. Visit. Okay, very good. The WH word should be where. Where, where or when. Okay, why when? ¿Qué quería decir con when? when eh, cuando. No. Okay. Entonces, no, porque estamos hablando de December. De December. December. Exactly. Sería ya estamos when. dando el tiempo. Where. Okay. Sería where. Where. where? Okay, where are you going to visit on December? ¿Qué queremos decir ahí? ¿Cuál era, cuál era el propósito de su pregunta, Angel? Este, ¿qué, ¿Qué iba a visitar en diciembre? <risa> ¿Quién ah. iba a visitar en diciembre? Where are you going to visit oh. your family or the Falta family? el sujeto. Falta el sujeto, ok. Where are you going to? Right. So in this case... Right, we have a question. Uh, what, what happens here? We need, we need to think on English, right? Porque eso, eso siempre nos va a ser traba de aquí hasta dentro de dos, tres años. Así que no nos preocupemos. Siempre en lo que nos sucede cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma es que pensamos en español y le ponemos palabras en inglés. Por eso es que no nos sale, right? Pero eso no va a pasar. Como les digo, no solo ya se le va a quitar el otro mes, no. Le voy a estar mintiendo si le digo eso. Right? So, what do we have here? Right? Where are you going to visit? Right? But we can say this. Right? We have the verb be. We can say who, for example, who are you going to visit on December? Who are you going to visit on December? ¿Qué pasa con esa pregunta? ¿Cómo? ¿A quién irá no. a visitar yeah. en diciembre? Very good. Very good. That would be ya a correct el translation. Sujeto. ¿A quién? Yes, exactly. I am going to visit my mother on December. Right. So the answer for who is my mother. Es una pregunta, ¿quién? Exactly. Who are you going to visit on December? I am going to visit my mother. Right? Mm. So you see the difference here? Right? So we can say, if you, we have where, where are you going to go? Or where are you going to have a vacation on December, for example. Where are you going to have a vacation on December? That's different, right? So where are you going to have a vacation on December, uh, Gaby? Supongamos que vamos a estar en una vida normal y vamos a tener vacaciones en diciembre. Right? Mm -hmm. Primero dijo que sí. Right? Yay. <laughs> Where are you going to have um, vacation? I am. I am going to. Mm -hmm. Going to visit the. I am going visit. to uh -huh, visit or have. Uh -huh. I am going to visit what? Uh, uh, visit. The Cerro Verde. I'm going to visit Cerro Verde. Okay, very good. So you see, here, what happens here? We change the verb, right? But this verb makes sense. Aunque no sea el mismo verbo, siempre está conectado con el propósito de lo que yo le estoy preguntando a ella. Right? Preguntamos, ¿qué vas, a, qué vas a, a, a hacer en vacaciones? ¿Dónde vas a ir en vacaciones? ¿Qué lugar vas a visitar en vacaciones? I am going to visit Cerro Verde. Right? 
Entonces el verbo está asociado, el verbo de la respuesta está asociado con el verbo de la pregunta. Right? They have similar meaning. Pero ¿qué pasaría si, por ejemplo, Gaby me dice, I am going to cook sopa de patas. Right? That's different. Right? It doesn't have anything to That's do. That's right. Right? So here we have yeah. Cerro Verde and then the place. Right? Si vemos que aunque hayamos utilizado otro verbo, sí tiene sentido la respuesta que ella nos da. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta si utilizáramos el mismo verbo que estamos usando en la pregunta? A ver, ¿quién, quién quiere darle un... I am going to... to I am going to... What is the... I'm going to have... Ok. A vacation... Um, a vacation... In... In where? In... In Cerro Verde. In, in Cerro Verde. December. A vacation in Cerro Verde. Right? So here we have, again, right, the correct answer, right, and using the verb on the question. Estamos usando el verbo de la pregunta y estamos diciendo where, Cerro Verde, Cerro Verde. Right? So you see, tenemos dos opciones. Pero la respuesta a esa última en español sería que yo voy a tener vacaciones en el Cerro Verde en diciembre. Uh -huh. Correcto. Pero recuérdese que acá la respuesta que haya de al inicio está asociada con qué es lo que puede hacer en vacaciones en diciembre. I am going to visit Cerro Verde on December. It will be the same. Ah, where are you going to have a vacation? I am Entonces, going to visit Cerro Verde. Estoy asociando lo de tener con la palabra he, have. No sé cuál es la traducción o la pronunciación. Have. Ah, have. 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 Que es más específico. Have. Yes. Have. Exactly. But remember that no vayan. Eh, algo que, que yo aprendí cuando estaba aprendiendo inglés es que no, no casemos o no. Uh, no apropiamos una palabra solamente a un significado. En inglés no. Por ejemplo, la palabra get. Esa palabra tiene como 25 diferentes significados. Entonces, no la hacemos eso, eso solo muy, con uno. Eso es muy cierto. Yo tengo un familiar que está en Estados Unidos y eso me dice de uh -huh. que no una palabra la asocie solamente eh, con una cosa, porque muchas veces una palabra con, eh, eh, digamos, diferente eh, verbo o algo por el estilo cambia totalmente. Le cambia el exactly. sentido a la traducción. Exactly. Exactly. So it will have a different meaning, it will have a different translation, everything will be different. Entonces, siempre tengamos, por ejemplo, have, en, es, en esta vez significa una cosa, en otro contexto puede significar otra cosa, y así lo vamos a ir viendo. Por eso siempre les digo, hay que apuntar los, eh, la, el vocabulario que vamos aprendiendo con base en contexto eso es bien importante el contexto de, la, de lo que estamos trabajando ¿Es that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Por, eso, por, eso yeah. es que la, por eso es que la pregunta que teníamos al inicio que nos dio Ángel estaba bien pero no, se, no está bajo lo que estamos tratando de aprender y a mí no me gusta como mezclar un montón de temas al mismo tiempo porque nos vamos a confundir. Nos vamos a perder. Sí, ustedes y yo, right? So we don't want that. <laughs> okay. Right? okay. Okay, very good. So we're going to keep practicing here. I have an exercise. Tengo un ejercicio para ustedes. Right? And I need you to take a look at the exercise. Pero déjenme ver acá un segundito. Give me a second. Just right now. Wait. I'm going to send to your WhatsApp messages. Do you have WhatsApp? Yes? Here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. On WhatsApp, I'm going to send you a picture. But give me give me right here a second. This picture, I'm going to show you right now the picture on the screen. Can you see this? Yes? 
So we're going to work yes. with these, these questions. These are small conversations. We have A and B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. We have five conversations, right? So Nancy, can you please read the instruction? Group work. Yes. Group work complete this conversation with the correct form of be going to. Practice the correct pronunciation. Very good. So we have these conversations, right? The first one is completed. Right, Manuel, can you read okay. the first one? Manuel? Where? Mm -hmm. Where are you? 26. Where are you going to? La imagen es hoy to spend. Spend, very some good. Spend summer vacation. Where are you going to spend summer vacation? Then I have the verse in parentheses, right? and we're going to practice with be going to. Right? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta de la letra B? What's the answer for letter B? My parents and I. And I'm going to visit my grandparents. My parents and I. Si tengo my parents and I. ¿Cuál subject pronoun es? I, you, we, they, he, she. ¿Cuál de todos es? We visit. We going to visit. Okay, very good. ¿Y qué utilizamos? Qué, ¿Qué forma del verbo to be utilizamos con we? Uh, uh. Are. Very good. Are. No tengan miedo. Si cometemos error. <laughs> are. Pero es fine. Okay, are. So, it will be my parents and I are. Are what? Are going to visit my grandparents. Bye. Very easy, right? Okay. Very good. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? Vamos a trabajar en grupos pequeñitos. Pero de acuerdo oh, con la man. de acuerdo sí. con la práctica que leyó Nancy, vamos a trabajar acá. Vamos a completar el diálogo. Right? We're going to complete the dialogue. And we are going to also complete here and practice the pronunciation. Okay? Okay. So we practice, we practice here the dialogue and we practice the pronunciation. We're going to provide the answers. Entonces para esto les voy a dar alrededor de cinco o seis minutos para que lo completen. Vamos a practicar las preguntas. No vamos a decir, where are you going to spend summer vacation? No. Where are you going to spend summer vacation? Right? You going to spend summer vacation? Siempre utilizando be going to. Eso es bien importante. Be going to. Right? So, are we ready? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. 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 No, maybe. Okay. Vamos a ver. So so. So so. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so let's see right now. Give me a second. Se lo voy a enviar. Give me a second. Give me a second. Que tengo que abrir esta cosita acá de WhatsApp. Okay. This is the sample of the platform. Sorry? It's a sample of the platform. If it's a sample from the platform. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's similar. Siempre viene, todos esos ejercicios vienen con base en lo que hacemos en la plataforma. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you see the example there on your on your WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Very good. So we're going to go to the groups right now. We're going to practice very quick, right? We're going to do that very very quick, and then we're going to be back. We're going to work in groups of two. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. 
Let's click on the on the group, please. Miguel, Susana, Saúl, Esmeralda, Jessica. Susana, Saúl, Jessica. Okay. Iríamos entonces por... Por la dos, ¿verdad? Por la dos. Who my... are you gonna visit? Sí. My father... Who are you gonna invite? Uh, invite. Uh -huh. Invite. Sí. Invite. To Thanksgiving dinner. My, my parents... Sería, who are sí. you gonna invite or invite? Uh -huh. <laughs> to Thanksgiving. Who are you... Who? Are you? Are you going to or gonna? Going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner. La By cena de Thanksgiving día dinner. De yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, exactly. But let's try not to, not to translate. Uh, Angel, tratemos de no traducir sí. todo porque se va a confundir. Who are bueno, you bueno. going to invite? Going to invite. To Thanksgiving dinner. In dinner. Y la, re la respuesta es la, la que está abajo. Correcto. Entonces, I am. Be, I, I am going to. Gonna. Sí, sorry, a mí me invitará. I am. I. Ask my uh -huh. father. Uh -huh. Very good. I'm going to ask. ask. I am I am going to ask my family. My and family some, and some good friends. Some good friends. Good friend. 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 It's friend. Uh -huh. it's friend. friend. Exactly. Exactly. Ernesto, yes. cuando quiere decir así es, diga, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's okay. right. Very right. good. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. Very good. I will leave you. I will go to another group. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Three. Halloween. To do. For Halloween, what are you going to do for Halloween? Uh -huh. What are you going to do for Halloween? Okay, uh -huh. I yes. don't know. Hi, teacher. Uh huh. Continue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to. I don't. No, I. Yes, I don't. I'm, I'm going to do. What's I'm the negative going... form of be going to, people? I'm going uh -huh. to not do. Mm. No. It's, um, kind of. Boy, I, I'm not mm -hmm. going to do. I'm not going to do. Okay, very good. I am not going to do anything special. Very good. So, I just need you to practice. Necesito que practique más así como que están... Más naturales. What are you going to do for Halloween? Right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Right? M more relaxed. Okay? Be okay. relaxed. Okay. <laughs> very good. You can do it. Okay. Very good. Uh, how are your parents going? To... Mommy. Mommy. Finish. No. <laughs> okay. Do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Yes, me for uh, which one? Uh, three. Three. Number three. three. Okay. Three. Number three. Okay. What's the answer for that? Let it be. Letter B, okay. What is the negative form of going to? Yes. ¿Cuál es la forma negativa del going to? 
Yo les di la positiva y la negativa. Yes. Uh -huh. um, Now you tell me, what's the negative form? ¿Dónde pasamos, ¿Cómo hacemos la forma negativa del número 3? La letter A is what are you going to do, right? That's perfect. And letter B is I don't know. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde, podemos, ¿Dónde ponemos dentro de la oración el not? ¿Vamos a las notas? No. Ajá. ¿What? ¿Cómo dijo? Um, um, I am. Do not. No, no estamos ocupando do. Don't, uh, I am, don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going not, to. I'm not going to do. Going to do. Exactly. I'm not going to do anything special. Recuérdense dónde va el, la forma negativa. Right. What do we have the negative yes. form? Okay, very good. Ya vamos a terminar casi. Con... Summer vacation. My parents and my parents I am go to my parents and I am going to visit visit my grandparents. My parents well, and I my parents are are yes. Ah, are my qué? parents and no no es I am. No, ¿por qué estamos diciendo my parents and I? And I. Uh -huh. eh, mis padres y yo, porque se refiere a porque se refiere a eh, bueno, el sujeto se vendrían siendo tanto mis padres como yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. My parents um, I, and I. And I. Entonces, ¿cuál uh, subject pronoun es en la oración? I, you, we, uh, they. Which one is it? Are, porque es, es plural. Is we. Right? we. Is we are. Entonces, solo usted junta el my parents and I, lo junta, y después solamente va a tener we. Entonces, no oh. ocupa am, va a ocupar are. Porque are. Ese, my parents and I es uno solo. Ah, ya forma uh -huh. parte, entonces, entonces se vuelve. Exactly. Ah, okay. My parents, uh, my parents and I are going to visit my... Visit? Visit my grandparents. My, my grandparents. Very my good, Manuel. Very Thanks. good. You're welcome. Ya vamos a terminar acá. Okay, okay. Tienen 50 segundos todavía. Hello? Hello? Susana? Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. So we're going to see here the answers that you have for the exercise, right? So let's see what do you have for this right now, okay? So we're going to practice the pronunciation of this. For number one, right, I need two people. Vamos a esperar, Vamos, perdón. Vamos a esperar que se una los demás. ¿Ya estamos todos? ¿Sí? Ok. Creo que me faltan dos. Ok. We're fine. Ok, there we are. Very good. Let me see. Ok, we're going to work right now with Gaby. Gaby, who was your partner, Gaby? 
¿Quién trabaja con usted? Who was your partner? Eh, Margarita. Margarita. Ok, Gaby and Margarita. Ok, very good. So, Gaby and Margarita, tell us the answers for number two. Uh, number two is Gabby is letter A. Gabby, uno va a ser letter, letter B and the other one letter A, ok? Entonces vamos con Gabby en, en Margarita. Gabby letter B, Margarita letter A. Ok. Uh, who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Margarita? I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Very good. You have the correct answer. Taxi number three, volunteers? Voluntarios para el número tres, volunteers? Nine. Okay, Esmeralda, and? ¿Quién estaba con Esmeralda? Um, Gladys. Esmeralda and Gladys. Okay, let's go with number three. What's number three? Okay. Number three, number uh -huh. two. Number three. Ah, number three. Okay. What are you going to do for Halloween? Yes. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Perfect. That's perfect. Very good. I am not going to do anything special. This is the negative form of going to. Es de la forma negativa. Se recuerdan que vimos la positiva y la negativa, right? So this is the negative form. Very good. So let's continue. Otro voluntario, otro equipo. Okay. Nancy? Hey. <laughs> Hi. Four. Nancy okay. and? How? And Angie? Okay. Okay. Start, please. Okay. How are you parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? They are gonna go to their neighbor's party. They are gonna go to their neighbor's party. Very good. Okay, very good. Very good. That's perfect. Very good. And the last one, number Thank five. You. The last one, Margarita. Oh no, Margarita, you participated. Quien no participado? Me falta uno. Manuel, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, what's number? Number five. Uh, oh, number five. What are your What are your sister? Going to go for her birthday. Birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Who was working it? with you? ¿Quién trabaja con usted? Eh, Susana, pero creo que no le funcionaba el, el micrófono. Ah, oh, no. okay. So tell us letter B too. <laughs> okay. Um, her boyfriend going going to. Her gonna boyfriend. Take, her boyfriend gonna take. Her. Out to dinner. Okay, very good. What is missing there, Manuel? Her boyfriend? What is after her boyfriend? Her boyfriend is going to take. Okay, very good. Her boyfriend is going to take her oh. out for dinner. Very good. Is the teacher una Y ahí, ¿por qué va? Is. Porque estamos hablando en tercera persona. Exactly. Por ejemplo, en letter A, eh, Manuel, lea su respuesta para letter A, ¿te no? What? Ok. Ok. Eh, la respuesta. Her sí. boyfriend. Her. Letter A. La A y B. Lea la what? Ah. What, what are your sister going to do for her birthday? Ok. Her boyfriend your... is take. He's going to take her out to dinner. Okay, very good. I need you to, talk, to take a look at this. Pay attention. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Cuando decimos your sister, we are referring to she, right? 
Entonces, Listo. Manuel, sí, sigan. Entonces, Manuel, vamos a cambiarle el R, porque el R en este caso es para I, you, we, and they, in this case, for, sorry, for you, we, and they. Entonces, el R se lo tenemos que cambiar, Manuel. Porque tenemos your sister. And your sister oh, is... What is the, your third sister person. is third person. Exactly. So your sister is she. Right? What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Right? Her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Right? Entonces tenemos oh. que estar bien cuidadosos. En este caso, el sujeto, a pesar que dice your sister, estamos hablando de ella. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Very good. Correct. Ok, very good. Okay. So we need to continue there. Ok, very good. Ya nos quedan dos minutos. Vamos a trabajar. Se va muy rápido la hora, no me gusta. Cierto. Interesante. Interesante. Pongámosle una hora más. <laughs> we should. Pongámonos una hora antes. <ríe> Deberíamos, definitivamente. Ah. Vamos a trabajar acá, como nos queda pendiente el, en la plataforma, rapidito, tenemos un minuto. Vamos a ver la plataforma y lo que vamos a hacer para mañana, ¿ok? Ya vimos going to, vamos a ver, no se olviden de poner siempre sus ejemplos en la plataforma, porque siempre los vamos a revisar acá. Vamos a hacer el knowledge check, right, del going to. Si ya lo hicieron, chivísimo. Si sacaron 100 mil, muy bien. Después de eso, vamos a practicar con special locations. Para, ustedes ven el video en, en la plataforma. Y yo les tengo acá también otros ejercicios que vamos a trabajar prácticamente eh, aquí en la clase, de special locations. Right? No crean que, que solo lo de la plataforma. Special occasions, we have the, the, the objectives and we're going to have our own examples basados en lo que ustedes ven en la plataforma. Right? So you're going to work okay. and you're going to watch the video that is for vocabulary that you're going to practice. Right? Write your examples on the platform. Right? Always, always, always write your examples. No se olviden de eso. Luego, vamos a tener una, un ejercicio que es de lectura. El de lectura que van a trabajar, ese, la lectura siempre se hace en casa. Entonces, ¿cuál es el, el, lo bonito de acá? Es que vamos a tratar de anotar palabras que no conocemos, palabras nuevas de la lectura que tenemos. Y vamos a ver las formas del going to. Para este video, tienen su propio knowledge check. O sea, que van a ver el video, véanlo, léanlo bien, busquen las palabras que no entiendan, porque después de eso les vienen otras preguntas. Miren, tienen que ir trabajando cada una de ellas con base en cada una de las cosas que van leyendo y solo ponen true or false. Right? Then you click on okay, submit teacher. and then you go there. Right? So I need you to do that. Once you do that, vamos a movernos para, el nuevo, para la nueva sección que es la sección 2, que se llama acá, What's the Matter, right? Pero primero What's necesito, yes, necesito que vean ese video porque para mañana ya están las actividades que vamos a trabajar, right? Ok. Do you have okay. any questions? Thank you. You're welcome. No, ok. So, have a beautiful tenemos, night. Sí, dígame. Tenemos que hacer las dos guías, Tichero. Solo la primera, similar al ejercicio de hoy. No, tienen que hacer las dos. Para no, irnos... y, y esto. Siempre traten, de, siempre traten de hacer dos actividades, por lo menos, de la plataforma. Yo sé que a veces no nos queda tiempo, pero tratemos de hacer por lo menos dos. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. okay. Perfect. Ok, teacher. I will see you later, guys. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you.